Hey, what's up guys? It's Coach Keith bringing you another shock talk. Today we're gonna address the 1-3-1 press or how my team runs the 1-3-1 press. This is typically what we go to in the beginning of the game or if we need some quick turnovers or if we just wanna straight up put some pressure on the ball. Our team likes to run and gun, especially on offense. That's typically where we see a lot of our points is fast breaks. And this gives us a good opportunity to get the ball in our hands and get it into our top three players and get them some easy layups and easy looks. So let's go ahead and draw it up. So this is our 13 press. So what we do is we put one person down here, one person in the middle, one person over there, one person over there, and one person down here playing safety. You want this guy to be probably one of your quicker guys, also one of your better players that knows basketball pretty well because he's got to read and react to make sure that he can, he can get to that lob pass. And at one point we were running our center down here. They had a lot of, the other team had a lot of success getting the ball over and down on us because our center was too slow. So we ended up pulling him and putting one of our, one of our two or three players, so our shooting guard or our forward down there. This guy right here, you want him to be your aggressive, most aggressive guy. And then this guy's second most aggressive guy. This is where we put our three. And down here we were running with our, our four, but he was actually more of like a two based upon our, off, our, our offense and defense he was running as a four. These two guys over here, doesn't really matter what puts there they're just there to trap. Typically inbounds balls comes over here and they're gonna run with one guy most likely. This guy's this guy's only job is to keep him on one side. So he keeps him on this side of the court if, the, if he's already on that side of the court. So what he wants to do is get on him and force him to this corner over here that helps with us with us with all these guys right here so if that were to happen and he were to get the ball in this corner we want our defensive guy to get on his side and ride him all the way up the court so we never let this guy come back under it's all right if he passes doesn't mean we don't contest it but we want him to go all the way up the court so what that means is if the ball enters on this side backside sucks in and helps so what that looks like is our guy that's over here is gonna this guy is gonna come in over here and fill in space over there so he's actually not going to be playing over there anymore he's going to be cutting off passing lanes in this area this guy's going to push out maybe over here more and this guy might drop back just a little bit um, so that way we can make the trap in this area right here three might come up a little bit because the inbounds ball person might come over here so if they were to make a pass over to this guy what happens here is this guy is going to drop back to where three is and three is going to come down and play that three wants to come down and play it in such a way that he's forcing him up this way and then we shift our zones like that and the trap is going to happen over there so that's that was our basic one three however i love to front different zones to make them run different different presses or different press breaks against us so what we do is we come out and we show a 2-2-1 two, two, like that and what this is going to do is it's going to give the defense a little bit different or the offense a little bit different read so we force him down to that corner and, and if they get one more guy down here we're going to force him to that corner we can actually try to lock this off because it's ball side so we want to try to deny that and make the pass come over to this side so say the pass were to inbounds over on this corner and our guy does a great job this guy his job is to ride him up the sideline this guy's going to push out over here this guy's going to push back into his zone this guy will push out over here and this guy's job is to get up here now we're back into we're back into our one three one style defense ball swings over to here this guy comes back and rides that up the sideline this guy is going to come back over here this guy's going to drop down here or actually we drop from over here this guy will come back over to this side and this guy's going to come over here that's in essence our 13 press we had a lot of success running that this year it's great to change the pace of the t of the um offense and then once we ran this 13 press we would go ahead and drop back into our iron defense and shut them down basically guys thanks for watching go ahead and feel free to try that 13 press as you guys know i do like to kind of front different zone looks and make them run a different offense or a different press break than what they're used to even in our iron zone which i'll go ahead and upload i think over there they'll come out and run a different offense which will create a lot of confusion mentally with the coach and the player and then we want to change it up from there so that's what we do go ahead and try it if you guys have some success or have some comments criticisms go ahead and comment down below i appreciate it and if you like and enjoy this kind of video go ahead and hit that thumbs up button thank you very much and be on the lookout for my next video